So the challenge was this. Okay, so the challenge is to get this text into a bordered box that grows from the top downwards. Just to save time, I've set up this basic node tree with a text node in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the box in. And to do that, we're going to bring in a background node, which we can make any color we want. Uh, let's go with white. And we're going to bring in a rectangle node, which is our mask. And then we're going to take the output of the background node and merge it or put it onto the output of the merge node and that will create the second merge node. Now we need to adjust our rectangle so it's doing what, what we want it to do. So with the rectangle selected, uncheck solid and add a little bit of border width and then we're going to bring the width of the rectangle in and the height up. The rectangle doesn't have any way that you can change the pivot point, unfortunately. So if we change the height, it always works relative to the middle. And what we want to do is have it grow from the top. So while we can't change the fact that it only grows from the middle, we can offer the illusion that it's growing from the top. And we're gonna do that simply by taking the height down to zero and then coming to Y and moving Y so that our border starts at the top. As we increase the height you'll see that this top edge is going up the screen so what we need to do is bring the Y down to compensate and we will continue to do that until our box covers our text. You can keyframe both manually, no bother. However, we can also do it automatically. And the way we're going to do that is I'm going to reset this. I'm going to come to frame 36, which for me is a second and a half. And I'm going to keyframe the height and the center. Now, if we come over to our inspector and take note of our height is 0.622. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click and then I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna come back to frame zero. I'm gonna drop the height to zero and in the Y box of the center, I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna paste that height now what we want is for this point to move half the height. So we're going to divide it by two, which gives us 0 0.311. Unfortunately, it's now dropped to the bottom and we want it at the top. So to get it to the top, all you need to do is click once and then add 0 0.5 and it goes up to the top. Now what we find when we scrub through is that our box grows from the top and stays apparently in the same position. What's actually happening if you're watching the middle of the screen where your grab handle is for your rectangle, you can see that it's actually moving, but it's moving at exactly the same rate that the box is growing. So it gives the illusion that this top edge is staying put. If you want it to, you can also make your box grow from the bottom up. So I'm going to come back to frame 36 because that's where I've got all my keyframes. And I'm going to double click everything to cancel all those keyframes out. So to get it to grow from the bottom, it's the same process, it's just a different bit of maths. So again, we'll copy that height so we know what it is. At frame 36 we're going to keyframe height, keyframe center and we're going to come back to frame zero. 
Now we're going to double click, paste our height in and divide it by 2. But this time instead of adding 0.5 to the answer we're going to have 0.5 and we're going to take away our 0.311 and that's now going to put our center at the bottom of our text like so. So when we shrink our text down it starts at the bottom and then we'll grow up. And you can do exactly the same thing with the width. Ex obviously you wouldn't copy the height, you'd copy the width to get it to start at this right hand edge and open to the left you would use the first expression so you'd paste your width in you divide by 2 and then you would add 0.5 which would put your border here to start with and again if you wanted it from the left going to the right you would copy your width you would divide it by 2 and then you would put 0.5 in front and take away whatever the answer of 0.7173 divided by 2 is. What I'll do is I'll chuck the different expressions down here so you can see them. So once you've got your box doing whatever you want it to do all you need to do is copy this and use it to mask the text. So select your rectangle, Command C, click an empty space, Command V to paste it, drop it into the text or the mask of your text node. Now you see at the minute it's just another border and we don't want that. So select this second rectangle, check solid and drop your border width and now what will happen is you scrub through your animation as the box shrinks your text gets masked and so it looks like the text is appearing with the box and that's it um, it's not ideal um, maybe we need to hammer black magic and say we want a pivot point for rectangles uh, but we haven't got one so this is I guess the most elegant workaround that I've been able to come up with. If you know another way of doing it, please feel free to stick it in the comments section and I'll have a look at it. Otherwise, I hope that made sense. Um, I hope it sort of taught you something. Please feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell, and I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.